This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. 66 years of expertise built into every tool. All right, we got one shutting off, on and off. Just a condenser. I'm suspecting a low refrigerant. Put the disconnect in. Yep. Yep. All right, let's pull it. Yep. She's low on gas and it's cold out here. It's going to be hard to charge this thing up today. But in the meantime, I can go upstairs and start looking for the leak. All right, we got an ADP coil. Slides out the top. Got the H10 fired up. Let's see what we can find. There you go. All right, as y'all saw, evaporator's leaking. My H10 is not working too good. I might, I might have to send it in the back of the rack. Let them make some adjustments on it. Uh, but Yellow Jacket is sending me their new leak detector. It's leaking, obviously. But the problem is it's too cold to charge it. We're in the low 40s here today. I can't charge this unit up. So the best thing for me to do is just leave the charge alone because he doesn't need AC right now anyway. And when we get the coil, we'll just come back and change the coil and uh, charge it up then. All right, so on that one, he'll uh, he'll more than likely, he's a good customer, more than likely he's going to go ahead and uh, swap that coil out, and we'll just reset the charge then. Um, I don't, it, it may be me going change it, it may not, I, I don't know yet. So, just a little short video, I mean, but... That's what he's gonna do. So instead of fooling with the charge because of the cool weather and it's starting to warm up now, but it's, it's not a big deal. We'll just redo the charge in a couple days when we go change that coil. All right, guys, I'm getting on the interstate here. So thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one.